down now so that's the epoxy down and now it's time for uh, our polyester and we use Evercoat Slick Sand I am in love with this stuff if you are after a fucking decent decent well no if you're after the best polyester primers that you want ridiculous build but also sands like butter then you want Evercoat Slick Sands because seriously, I love this stuff. It's fucking phenomenal. Make sure this product is nice and warm so we put it in front of the, the heater that we've got here. So it's lovely and warm. Thoroughly, thoroughly mix the product. All right. And then go from the product through your filter, your 190 filter, into your mixing cup, and then add the hardener all right stir it all up and then into your gun don't mix it like in there pour it into there and then filter because it would just it'd be a nightmare so mix it properly filter into your mixing cup and then add one hardener so this is about just about a liter or a quart so you add a full tube per can real simple full tube per can you're good to go uh, going through my 2.5 and we're going to lay it down thick and wet. Okay, we're ready to go. Just open that fan a bit more, I think. Up my pressure and then we'll get slick sanded. Okay, air fed on. Gun set at 3 bar. We're ready to go.
Audio Jungle. So the RX-7 has had the first stage of painting done now, where we've laid a coat of epoxy and this is Evercoat Slick Sand, which is a polyester. So we've done the, the uh, rear quarters and we've done the doors. And now we're going to block it to within an inch of its life and uh, get these panels dead straight. And if it needs another few coats applying, we'll apply another few coats. Okay, so first things first, you sand anything, get your guide coat all over it. Alright, and we're going to get the big, big block, which might be a little bit overkill. <coughs> but we are, we are dead straight, man. We are dead, dead straight. section. I mean obviously the slick sand is easy as hell to sand anyway, it's really really good. So this is when you know you've got the panel dead straight, there's just some free prep and white silicon remover and this is the Evercoat slick sand now blocked to 180 and as you move down the panel you can see there's no distortion, no waviness, no anything. So I'm trying to keep the camera dead still so you can see. See what I mean? Absolutely nothing. Slightly peely because obviously this. But fucking look at how straight that is. Damn! Okay, so we're looking at the top of this seven door now. Um, and we've got a really uh, deep bevel there, but it kind of flattens out to here. Now you could use one block, and then when you get up to here, just obviously nuts. So You could just fucking, you could just do that. Do it on the sun, then, it? Yeah. But you get such a steep, such a steep bevel. But we know we're going to be going at a crisscross angle. So, <clears throat> stick the paper where you want it. Stick the block where you want it. There you go. All right. Okay, so as we were doing it, try and keep because the block wants to go out because obviously we've been slightly bending it. So, look at that. <laughs> I mean, look at that coverage. I mean, again, like I said, ideally it would be nice to have two people, two people on this. <laughs> So if you were on your own, maybe you wouldn't be using such a big block. You would um I can't put any pressure on that. No, it's just moving about. If you were if you were on your own or you didn't have a steady surface, like I said, I'd probably be using this one, but I'm waiting on a velcro a bit. 
So, but obviously the shorter they get, the kind of stiffer they get. But this one would be ideal. Yeah, it's perfect size, isn't it? 